we will be talking about Australia's geography. Australia's geography is the only country on the smallest and flattest continent. Australia's, Australia's land area is almost as large as the United States. The climate of Australia varies across the continent. The northern part of Australia is closest to the equator and has a tropical climate. The coastal areas of Australia are the most highly populated. The most populated city is Sydney, the capital of the New South Wales. Natural resources of Australia. The term outfat refers especially to Australia's dry interior. The outback is mainly open countryside, including vast areas of grazing land. Physical features of Australia is the best way to visualize Australia is to think of a huge desert plain stretching across the country's middle. The India and Pacific Oceans surround Australia along with some seas. So, and that'll be all. Hi, I'm Bridget Williams, and welcome and back. And I'm Dion Sanders. Sorry to make me. Welcome back to WWDMJ. I'm here to talk about some facts about the features in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef has over 400 types of coral, more than 1,800 species of fish, and 4,000 types of mollusks. The Coral Sea is an important source of coral for the Great Barrier Reef, and it's a part of the Pacific Ocean. The Great Diving Range stretches over 2,100 miles across eastern Australia in a series of plateaus and low mountain ranges known together as the Great Diving Range. And now we're going to talk to you about the land, like of Australia. The Ayers Rock is a visible part in, Ar in Australia. It is a single large red rock sticking out of the earth. And the Great Victoria Desert only receives 8 to 10 inches of rain a year. And that is not a lot at all. Because here we receive hundreds of thousands of inches of rain. But there they only receive 8 to 10. Sad. Hey, I'm Deion Sanders, back at it, and now we're going to ask an Australian citizen, how does he like living there? So how do you like the climate of Australia? Well, the climate of Australia is uh, wonderful and annoying, because wonderful because it's always hot and you can go to the beach and it's always uh, hot in the water, it's never cold, but it can be annoying because you know sometimes uh, I kind of don't want to be hot all the time. <laughs> okay, I understand, I get that. How do you like the coral reefs and the oceans and being an island? How do you like that? Um, personally, I hate it because I hate water. Oh. <laughs> okay. How do you like that? Well, I mean, I think that uh, coral reefs and reefs in the water are very important because if you don't have, you know, animals and wildlife in the water, then you're going to run out of resources, and that's very important to have, you know. Uh, water and, and plants and stuff in the water. So. That's very true. Why don't we just live without water? Uh, you, yeah. I'm going to start a debate. <laughs> That's all for now, folks. I really love that interview with Lucas. Mm -hmm. That guy, he's a very smart man. Mm -hmm. Professional. Very. Um, yeah, I really thought it was very informational on that lesson y'all did. Mm -hmm. Thank cool. you. Well, I hope you learned about the geography in Australia. Thank you for watching WJBM News. We're going to talk about some important features of Australia. The Great Barrier Reef has hey, more than 400 inches of rain in you. And that is Dion back at it. And now we're going to ask an Australian citizen how does he like Australia? Hey, buddy. Hello there. Um, it's pretty warm. It's pretty hot. Go! Hi. I thought she was walking by. 